Hey guys, good morning. Well, as you said, the focus today is going to be on that pressure campaign for former Vice President Pence to reject certain electoral votes, which is not something that the Vice President has power to do. So as well, you know, beyond the recorded depositions and other evidence the committee will show today, they'll have two live witnesses. That'll be Greg Jacob, the former counsel for the Vice President, for Vice President Pence, and Michael Ludig, a retired judge who also served as an informal advisor to Pence. So according to committee staff, they're going to be laying out the hearing today in four major parts. First part of the hearing is going to be the emergence of this theory that the vice president could reject electoral votes um, during this joint session of Congress on January 6th. The part two of the hearing will be the theory being rejected by not only the vice president, by his counsel, by the White House's counsel, um, and you know, a lot of people telling the former President Trump that Pence could not do this. Third part we're expecting is on focus on the actual pressure campaign on Pence, including the former president putting that public pressure on his vice president to try to throw out these electoral votes. And then part four is going to focus on the pressure campaign and how it directly contributed to the attack on the Capitol and a very serious threat on the vice president's life. I think uh, the public probably is not aware of how close a call this was. Um, the rioters came very close to capturing the vice president, and I think there's very good evidence that they would have done harm to him, perhaps even killed him. So uh, this was a close call. Representative Pete Aguilar of the you know, Senate Select Committee is going to be taking on kind of the starring role today. This, he'll be doing and asking questions similar to what we saw from Representative Zoe Lofgren on Monday. Of course, we will also hear from the chairman, Benny Thompson, and the vice chair, Liz Cheney. Committee staff also say the counsel for the committee, John Wood, expected to also ask some questions of the live witnesses today. We're expecting a, a hearing to be about the same length as what we saw on Monday and in the primetime hearing last week. About two hours in length, we'll get about 45 minutes of question and answer and evidence um, and evidence being displayed by the committee. They'll take a 10-minute recess about the halfway point, and then they'll continue. So again, today's hearing in the afternoon this time kicks off at 1 o'clock Eastern, guys.